What is going on everybody, Weedle2Needle here, and we are back again with another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle, and this one's going to be against Just Weavile, a name some of you guys may be familiar with, but in case you don't know who he is, he is a PokeTuber just like me who uploads Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battles and content like that, so if you are interested in that kind of thing, definitely check out Just Weavile. His link will be in the description, and his side of the battle will be in the end screen whenever he decides to upload it. Anyway, me and Just Weavile are having a rarely used battle today, as his team's looking pretty damn spicy actually. Um, he has Kingler, which is something I've not seen this generation, which is pretty cool. I'm excited to see what that thing is about to do in my butthole. Um, Moltres, Donphan, Dusclops, Sceptile, and Regular Muck. Holy shit, I didn't think there was anybody else out there who used Regular Muck besides me. As I'm using Daydane, Sneasel, because I had to use it against Jack, Noctowl, Basculin, Donvan, and Rose Raid. Now, um, I expected um, Jack to want to lead off with uh, Moltres, because I don't really have a switch into Moltres on my team, so I decided to lead off with my Daydane, as Jack does decide to actually lead off with Mr. Krabs, his uh, Kingler. So, this is still a good situation for me, right? Electric on water. Oh no. Jack just goes for the Z-move turn one, does not have <laughs> does not care at all he's just like screw this freaking day today i'm just gonna go straight for the z move and i'm like okay this is a hydro vortex coming from kingler's ridiculously high attack stats so i'm not expecting to live this but maybe day today can live it potentially but um no my day today just drops the freaking hydro vortex so uh jack just destroyed me with that unfortunately day today does nothing in this battle just dies turn one but now I'm going to bring my Deathly Bloom, my Roserade, as now Jax can be forced to switch out Kingler and bring in his Moltres. Good play on his part, as I'm just going to go straight for the Sleep Powder. I would have went for Sludge Bomb, but I don't actually carry Sludge Bomb on this set. I carry Synthesis for some reason. I don't know why I thought Synthesis would be useful, but Sludge Bomb is definitely better on Grass Poison types for sure. So I'm going to go for the Spikes here, because this is supposed to be a bulky Spikes Roserade set. And... Uh, Get up a layer of spikes, which is going to be helpful against this team. Stealth Rex would be more useful against Moltres, but I don't have Don Fan in quite yet. So here, I'm going to switch out because I don't want to risk him waking up and destroying me with a Fire Blast. As, what do you know, that's exactly what happened, so I'm glad I switched out. I'm able to bring in my Masculine here. My Basculine, this is Choice Banded Basculine. And I'm also using Choice Banded Sneasel on this team, so I'm just going really ham with my Pokemon in this game. But now, in comes Mr. Krabs, the very original nickname Kingler. Wow, I just... Wow, can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? The freaking Choice Band Waterfall. It does do a decent chunk of damage, so I'm thinking maybe with min max damage, Choice Band Waterfall should be able to knock out Mr. Krabs. But Mr. Krabs just face tings that with like 3 HP, and I'm like, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Unfortunate, Masculine just dies, but uh, I guess it's just not masculine enough, so he's gonna knock off my Choice Band. So now I'm gonna bring in my next Choice Band user, my Jack, you know, named after Just Revile. So now I'm gonna go straight for the Icicle Crash onto the Kingler, and um, I'm very glad that I did not miss, because that would have been slightly tilting if that happened to me. But thankfully, we're able to knock out Kingler, as uh, now Jack's going to bring in Smooze, his muck, and um, I'm pretty sure that Choice Bin Icicle Crash could kill this thing, but I didn't quite want to risk it, because this thing's my win con. Believe it or not, that's Sneasel's a win con against Just Revile. But now I'm going to bring in my Roll Up, right? Roll Up can um, pivot into Gunk Shot rather easily. And then I could just threaten this thing up with Earthquake or lay up Stealth Rex for the Moltres. So here, I'm like, okay, he gets poison, which is a little frustrating, but not too big of a deal. Um, Mug has Poison Touch with Gunk Shot, so that's just bound to happen, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, at least it's on Toxic Poison, so it's not going to be that obnoxious. But here, I'm like, I can lay up Stealth Rocks, but I figured he would try to bring in Donphan here, so I decided to double switch out, because there's no way he would stay in on a Donphan and get Earthquaked, right? No! Jack stays in and goes for Gung Shot again and just destroys me. I'm like, how? How did he know? Jack's literally freaking the reincarnation of Jesus Christ, man. I don't know how he knew because I did not play aggressively the entire game, but he just knew, man. He's just like, he felt something was going up. And man, I don't even know what to say, man. I, I was speechless. I, I, all I said was like, holy shit, Jack is actually a legend at this game. But uh, yeah, I figured he would double switch now, because he must have predicted me to double switch somehow, even though Earthquake or Stealth Rocks was arguably the better play, but he, man, I just, anyway, he's going to bring on um, Dusclops on me, he's going to Toxic my Kapor, my Noctowl, 
as uh, now I am poisoned, which actually works for me in a way. Because if you guys have been watching me for a little bit, I think I used this Noctowl set about a month ago, but I wanted to bring it back against uh, Just Weavile, just because, you know, why not? So I'm going to go for the uh, Z-move here, which is the Psychic Z-move based on Shaniqua's stance. And uh, this is actually going to be a Z Psycho Shift. Going to sharply raise my special attack and Psycho Shift that nice and spicy toxic onto the Dust Clops. So this means the Dust Clops is poison, and that means I can stall it out easier. So it's cool. And uh, he probably didn't expect that because why would you use a Noctowl with freaking Z Psycho Shift? Don't ask these questions, guys. I use these Pokemon for fun. I don't use them seriously. I don't think they're good. And people have like the miscon misconception that I think. The majority of the Pokemon I use are actually good. <laughs> In all reality, I just use them for memes. But here, I'm gonna go for the plus two air slash. It just bounces off Dusclops body. It literally did zero damage, and so I'm like, okay, the plus two special attack was absolutely irrelevant. I regret using Noctowl, but I mean, at least Dusclops is poison, so obviously I have the air slash flinching going for me with Dusclops being poison. So I'm hoping I get some nice RNG going my direction here after getting destroyed by that muck play, but. He actually ends up getting Destiny Bond, not what I was expecting, but annoying at that. And I'm hoping that the poison's able to knock him out this turn, but unfortunately he's going to live with red health. And if I go for Air Slash now, I knocked out, I was going to die. So I decided to go for Roost instead, reveal that I have Roost. That shouldn't be too surprising to him, because Roost... I guess I could run like a hidden power on this thing, but I feel like Roost is better for a long activity, as he's just going to go for Pain Split, get a lot of health back, but I didn't really have any other options, as a Pain Split's going to bring me down to about where I was beforehand as poison is willing them a little more so i'm hoping that air slash could get a nice spicy flinch axe here really hoping no actually i decided to go for roost here yeah because i didn't want to be at low health and i was hoping maybe he'd like go for destiny bond again or something i don't even know but he actually does go for destiny bond maybe i should have went for air slash that turn then but i don't really know um this is kind of like a, a coin toss because i don't want to die to destiny bond and he's gonna he's at red health this turn so i'm thinking i'm like um, I can just go for Psycho Shift because I'm at full health. I don't want to lose Noctowl as he just gets the freeze pain split of his life. So he's just conveniently getting at red health as soon as he's about to die for poison. That's like really frustrating. But um, eventually this thing is going to die, right? Because poison will eventually kill it. So um, he does realize that I'm going to roost here. I was going to air slash. I was so close to clicking air slash, but I'm like, there's no point in risking it at this point. I already got smashed by a freaking... Jack's plays earlier, so I don't even want to test him. <laughs> I really don't want to test him at this point. So I'm gonna go for Roost with my Knock Towel, and in comes the regular Muck. As regular Muck is going to absolutely face tank this air slash, hoping I get some nice flinch magic going on. But unfortunately, I don't, as he's able to get the nice explosion off on me. As unfortunately, my Knock Towel, even though it's at full health, is going to get destroyed by the explosion, and uh, yeah, the Smooze is going to die. But Knock Towel. Is going to fall unfortunately it didn't get to do much this game but um it's whatever i really wanted to use sneasel and i was really hoping i could use it more in this game against just weavile but man he he sniped it and, like i i don't think i've been outplayed that hard in the entirety of sun and moon like i don't even think like i don't even know how he saw that coming like this is just like i asked him and he's just like yeah i don't know i just kind of click on shot twice and i'm like but 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 i i just i didn't und i couldn't I couldn't mentally understand why I took that risk, but we're gonna get off that play because I'm just like super salty about that. I'm salty like three hours later, and I normally get over salt in like 10 minutes, but there's just something about that staying in with Muck on a Dawn fan. It's just, I don't know, man. Especially when he has a Moltres, I can get it free rocks, but I mean, I guess we'll never know, man. It worked out for him. I mean, props to Jack. I'm not mad. I'm just like, just surprised he made such an aggressive play like that. But uh, yeah, here. He's toxic stalling my Don fan out here, as here, um, I said here like three times in a row. Epic narration skills. I expect the rooster. Go for the earthquake. It really wasn't that spectacular of a play because he's either gonna kill me or he's gonna roost, so. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, uh, Roost isn't really going to work for him, but unfortunately Earthquake does not knock him out. As I said earlier, my Roserade does not carry Sludge Bomb, and if I actually did carry Sludge Bomb, Roserade actually has a decent chance of winning. But since I'm Mono Grass Roserade for some reason, I don't know why. I have two Roserade sets, one's offensive, one's a defensive spikes, one's synthesis, as I like Scald Switch it and stuff. And I decided to bring it in this battle. Unfortunately, I missed Sleep Powder, but it really wouldn't have done me much unless I got like three sleep turns and then like got three consecutive Giga Drains off. But even then, um, he's still a Sceptile and uh, something else in the back I can't quite recall. Um, Dust Clops, yeah. So either way, I'm pretty sure this game is over. 
all I have left is my Roserade, and this Moltres is obviously going to beat me 1v1. He even burned me there just to freaking seal the deal. As synthesis. I just want to use it because I want to see the animation with Roserade, honestly. And I wanted to just- I knew I was dead anyway. I just wanted to use it just be like, look, I don't have Sludge Bomb, so it's GG lol. And he's like, oh, okay. So yeah, Air Slash gonna knock me out, unfortunately. As we're actually gonna lose, I think, 03 to Jack. But honestly, with that muck play, I knew it was over when he freaking sniped me with that muck. Considering that Sneasel was my win con and he sniped it like that. I had I like accepted defeat there, humbly accepted my defeat. I wouldn't quite say humbly because I was very salty that he like destroyed me like that. But either way, very well played by Jack's behalf. And I hope you guys did enjoy that battle. If you guys did enjoy the battle, I really would appreciate if you hit the like button. If you enjoyed watching me get crushed by Jack, that was very entertaining for me to actually like rewatch. It just feels good whenever I get smashed. Like normally, like I get salty and I do, but then like, I look back at it and I'm like, holy shit, I just got like easy smash, bro. And that like feels good. But uh, yeah, the question of the day is going to be, what was the first Pokemon game you've ever played? Now, um, the first Pokemon games that I've ever played in my lifetime were Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium 2 when I was like 5 years old. But the first like official Pokemon game I've ever played was Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire. And I just have like a special special bond with the Hoenn region because of it. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what your first Pokemon game was. And uh, yeah, I'll check you guys in my next video. Alright, peace.